Good afternoon. I'm Marla Ellerman. I'm publisher of Mobile Marketing and Technology Online. We're here today at the Mobile Payment Conference with Tim Spenny with GFK, one of our education sponsors, actually the education sponsor. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. So tell us a little bit about what you do at GFK and what GFK does for the industry. Sure. GFK is the fourth largest research company uh, in the world, and I specialize in fintech, payments, and cards, uh, providing consumer research, so the voice of the customer or voice of the consumer to the industry. Great. And so what, what is the trend that you see in the industry? Well, what we're seeing globally is really uh, uh, mobile payment adoption starting to increase in Asia Pacific and in Africa and some uh, Latin American countries which shows a, a real change or transformation within the retail experience for consumers. We expect this to happen in the U.S. over the next five years as well. And what it looks like is that <clears throat> instead of waiting in line uh, to check out, what you're doing is you're using your mobile wallet or mobile payment system to uh, uh, interact with a smart kiosk that understands who you are, what it is that you shop for regularly, and it helps you be able to uh, keep track of your shopping list, be able to earn rewards, redeem coupons, all very seamlessly, allowing representatives, sales representatives, representatives to be freed up to facilitate uh, sales and assist with customers rather than being at the point of sale. Since you're a global company, um, do you think we are lagging here in North America because wireless, we've lagged in wireless technology? Uh, completely, yeah. So if you look at other countries like, like China or even Sweden or the Netherlands, you can see mobile payments have reached a point of, of the tipping point where uh, consumers are using them regularly, their friends are using them, and it's part of their shopping experience. Whereas here in the U.S., we're still trying to build that platform of security and build awareness around the value proposition, and we haven't really turned to more of a consumer-centric focus yet. Do you feel that mobile payments are, you know, all the reports say, you know, it's not, people aren't really using it, it's going to be more millennial. I'm betting everything on the mobile payment and uh, the uh, consumer, customer engagement part of it. What's your thoughts on that? Well, certainly when we look at different generational segments, it is the younger generations uh, that use mobile payments more frequently. And that's not only here in the U.S., but it's around the world. Um, in addition to that, there are a subset, or there is a subset of the population that we refer to at GFK as leading edge consumers. These are consumers that are not only early adopters, but they're passionate about the category of mobile payments, and they're influential about mobile payments in their circle or their network. So when we look at the youngest generation and leading edge consumers, security really isn't an issue. What, what they're really looking for is value-added services, something that, that appeals to them that will be a, a, a catalyst or a motivator for them to use mobile payments. Well, since you're one of the leading researchers out there, um, if people want to get a hold of you, how, how do they contact you? Well, my Twitter is at Spenny, S-P-E-N-N-Y, Tim, um, on Twitter, or you can find me on LinkedIn. Okay, great. Is there anything else you'd like to add? It's a great conference. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Great, we appreciate thank it. Thanks for watching.